Hey, today I have a very simple workout, and this is something that I think everybody should be doing. It really keeps you strong, and it gives you, in my opinion, I think it gives you more longevity. So if you want to live longer, try this. <laughs> okay, here's how the workout's going to go. I'm going to start off using my trusty sled. Now this is to get warmed up, okay? I gotta get the blood flowing, I gotta get the muscles warmed up. So I'm gonna do my sled for anywhere up to 100 to 200 yards. Reverse sledding and forward, okay? Then I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna do some maybe four or five different stretches to get the muscles elongated you know, loosen those up a little bit. And then I get to the meat of the workout, and that is sprinting. Yup, sprinting is one of the best exercises you can possibly do. There's so many benefits. I've got a few listed here, and I mentioned already, it makes your whole body strong. You are using every muscle in your body from the bottom of your foot to the top of your head. It promotes the production of growth hormone. That's a good thing. Growth hormone is like the fountain of youth, okay? And then you've got, it helps body composition because you're going to increase muscles and decrease fat. Number four, it helps you prevent injuries because you're getting stronger. You're gonna have stronger bones and stronger connective tissue. And then last, it supercharges your metabolism. Because when you sprint, and when you do those high intensity exercises, it helps you uh, burn fat longer. You know, it's, it's an all day affair where your, where your metabolism has been speeded up and you're burning fat all day. So sprinting is one of my favorites, but there's a word of caution. I'm 73 years old and I actually used to be a sprinter back in my high school days, but um, <clears throat> If you're just starting this, remember, you do not have to go all out. Just gradually start to pick up the speed, lengthen your stride, and because, you know, I'm just getting back into this. I never, you know, in the last um, 50 years, 45, 50 years, I have not been sprinting a lot. I've been a tennis pro. Yeah, you sprint for certain shots, but the whole movement of sprinting is so good. So, you know, work on your form and increase it gradually. When you first start out, and you'll see me today too, I am not gonna go 100% right away, of course not. Even after the warm up and the stretch, I'm gonna start off at 30, 40, 50%, and then slowly go up. I don't, I'm not gonna even reach 100% today. I'm gonna maybe reach 75%, something like that. But, and I'll try and increase it because I'm gonna try and do these at least once a week, if not two, two times a week. So sprinting, a great thing to do. You can go anywhere from 50 yards. I'll be doing about 50, 60 yard sprints. If I turn around, I could make it 100. I don't know, we'll see. And um, it's a great exercise. So here we go. I gotta get warmed up, so I'm gonna do some sled reverse sled walking.
Okay, my warm up with the sled is over. Now I'm going into some stretching. Um, some of this stretching is going to be active, dynamic stretching, and some is more passive, static. The first one is a standing hamstring kick. So I'm gonna use the fence for some assistance, and I'm gonna do 15 on each side. Okay, the next stretch is wide stance squats. I'm gonna do 10. Next stretch is a static hold stretch. I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds. It's a runner's lunge. You get down into a plank position. Into like a push-up position. And now I'm gonna bring one leg forward and up and just let that stretch. You can even pulse it, but you gotta hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, the last stretch is a butterfly. And you can see I'm tight here, so I've got to, I'm using some weight. I've got some 20 pound kettlebells here, pushing my legs down. So I want to hold that for at least 30 seconds. And I should do two sets. So on that runner's lunge, do two sets also. Okay, so now I did my sled warm up, my stretches, I'm ready for sprinting. But remember, when you start out, just concentrate on good form and maybe, you know, I feel pretty warm now, so I'm going out at 30, 40%, still very low. Here we go.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And remember, you know, if you don't have a sled, you know, do the best you can. Um, I know before I bought the sled that I have now, I used to, I took a, a uh, plastic crate and I filled it with sandbags. I hooked up a rope to it and I was doing my reverse walking and I was even pushing it on concrete and on asphalt. So when there's a will, there's a way. So hopefully you can figure out something. And they have uh, sleds now online. You can buy them at reasonable prices. Um, so look into that. But sprinting is an awesome thing. And I'm glad at age 73 that I can still do it. And I totally attribute it to going to a vegan diet 15 years ago. Because I know if I had continued to eat the way I was brought up, which was bacon and eggs for breakfast, hamburgers for lunch, pot roast for dinner, um, I wouldn't be able to do this. There's no question in my mind. I've become more flexible in the last 15 years than I ever was in my life. So <laughs> um, it works. It works. My dad, you know, grew up on, uh, you know, the typical standard diet, a lot, a lot of meat, spare, you know, ribs, barbecue ribs and, and uh, all that stuff. And he was so stiff uh, once he hit his even 60s, 70s, and his knees got so bad, there's no way he would be able to do something like this in his 70s. So it does work. Vegan is a good thing, and eat lots of fruit. Fruit is extremely important because it's the highest food on the planet in vitamins. So you're getting, you're getting so much nourishment. It's the second highest food on the planet in minerals, vegetables being number one. So if you, if you eat these live foods, fruits, veggies, small amounts of nuts, seeds, and avocados, you're going to have the energy to do what I'm doing when you are 73. So, you know, I am so thankful that I ran across it. I thank God that I found, you know, this, this way of uh, eating because it never occurred to me being brought up as a meat eater. And I had problems with my shoulder. I, I'm a tennis professional by trade. I couldn't toss the ball to serve. My shoulder was so stiff. And that's what happens with animal-based foods. They create a lot of uric acid. The acid gets stuck in your joints, your knees, your ankles, your hips, shoulders, and you can't move them anymore. It becomes hard like a rock. So, um, I, you can't beat the, the vegan diet. High fruit, especially, because you're getting living food. Living food has more energy, food that has not been cooked. It's got more energy in it. So, give it a shot. I think you're really going to like it. Give me a like, a thumbs up, post any questions or comments below. And uh, you know what I'm going to do right now. I'm going inside to fruit up, baby. Make it a great one. Take care.